hi guys welcome to my channel in this video we are going to solve a question uh, sorry two questions about the study course and we are going to draw the shear and the moment diagrams of two beams now i can show you this one is the first one and this one is the second one and so before the start question if you like these videos if you want to see more of the videos please subscribe and share with your friends and now i guess we gave our message so let's solve the question First, I'm going to uh, start with this one. Now you can see we have simply supported beam, and this one is uh, this one is pin, and this one is roller. So I'm going to uh, draw the free body diagram of uh, this beam here. So it's going to be uh, something like that. I have an AY, and I have an AX. And here I has a so I have just a, a by because this is a roller. Roller just have a one force is that it's going to is, yeah this is a vertical force, and I have a force here as a point load nine kilonewton. And uh, until that point is four meter, and from the load x to the last point of the beam it is two meter okay so now uh, let's write equations look at here i'm going to uh, take the moment respect to a okay respect to a total moment at a is equal to zero and this direction is positive so uh, minus nine multiplied four plus bw now you can see multiplied six respect to a six meter and from that now you can see i'm going to obtain as by equal to six kilo newton now i obtained by so i need to determine also f uh, ay but look at here ax we don't know we don't have any forces as horizontal so we are just going to write as ax equal to zero okay ax equal to zero so let's write the total fy equal to zero and nine minus six and minus ay equal to zero and ay equal to three kilo newton now we determine the both shear forces. So let's draw the shear diagram. This is going to be shear diagram and this is going to be the moment diagram. For this one, for example, this is point A, this is point B, and this is for the moment point A, and this is for the, uh, here for moment for B. And for A, I have a shear force at upper direction as three kilonewton, right? For example, this is three kilonewton. I have to raise as three kilonewton because the direction of the force AY is upper direction. So now this is three kilonewton, okay? And I'm going to look at here. There is no any force here. Now we can see until that point, there is no any force. So I'm going to continue with the same amount of force that I here increased. Okay, so the same amount. So I'm going to go on, go on. And for example, this is the point that the, uh, the force applied. Okay, so I'm going to uh, look at here. This is a three and nine is going to downward direction. Three is upper direction. So it's going to reach at six, okay? Six. Now, for example, this is six, six kilo Newton. And I'm going to look at here. At this distance, there is no any other forces. So I'm going to continue with the same amount of force here. You can see six kilo Newton. And I'm going to continue with the same amount and I'm going to reach this point. Look at here, at B, I have an upper direction, six kilo Newton as a shear force of the uh, support of B. So I'm going to apply a six kilo Newton from that direction to upward. Yeah, it's from, sorry, from that point to upper direction. So it's going to be closed like that, okay? This is going to be 
the shear diagram of this beam. So now if I have shear diagram, now in this question, I'm trying to uh, make you understand how you are going to draw the shear diagram due to the graph method, okay, graph method. Uh, due to graph method, we are going to use the area of the shear and we are going to obtain the moment diagram. So now look at here, this is the area of shear. Now we can see. So I'm going to, I'm going to increase at this amount of area. This is four meter. This is two meter. I'm going to increase at this amount of area. Now you can see, and then I'm going to decrease at this amount of area. So for example, this is 0 0.4, four meter, okay? Four meter, two meter. And uh, let's show with the dashed lines. Yeah, for example, three multiplied four equal to 12. So I'm going to increase to 12. Is going to increase a linear because you can see this is the rectangular. If it is rectangular, the moment diagram is going to be as a triangular. If it is triangular, it's going to be parabolic. Okay, so now you can see this is a triangular. I increase to 12. This is the point 12. Okay, 12. And look at here two, 6 multiplied 2, and I'm going to decrease at the same amount 12, and I'm going to reach the zero because this is the roller. And this is the pin. We cannot uh, talk about any moments in uh, these two supports, okay? And this is going to reach the point zero, point uh, to point B. And now we can see the moment diagram is also uh, drawn. So now I'm going to uh, repeat something. Look at here, I told you that before. If you draw the shear diagram, of course, if you draw the shear diagram and your shear diagram, if it is uh, rectangular, now you can see for this from A to the point of the load applied, okay? If it is rectangular, it's going to be like you can, uh, sorry, like uh, you, uh, you now see that it's going to be as triangular, okay? So look at here, it is triangular. And for the next part, after the force applied, look at here, it is again. There is no any other forces, so it's just uh, uh, to a rectangular, so it's going to in decrease as triangular, now you can see. So now the first question is solved. I guess you understand because it is uh, a simple question. If you uh, couldn't catch something, please comment. I'm going to try to help you. So let's solve the next question. For the next question, we have a cantilever beam. Okay, we have a cantilever beam. And in this cantilever beam, and this is uh, fixed, okay, this is fixed. And now you can see it's a cantilever. I have a moment, six kilonewton meter at the end of the cantilever beam. And I have a, a two kilonewton meter as a distributed load on the, uh, the beam now you can see. So uh, let's uh, draw the, um, the free body diagram of the beam and try to solve the question. And now I have, I have a force here as a Y and I have a here as a X and I have a moment here. The moment will be created at this direction. Okay. At this direction as moment. And I have a forces here I distributed, but I'm going to convert it to the uh, point load. So two multiply two and multiply, yeah, sorry, two multiply two is equal to four. Okay, this is going to be the point load. So it's going to be four kilo Newton as the point load. And I have a four kilo Newton as distributed by I convert it to the point load. And I have a moment here, six kilo Newton meter as this direction. So let's write the equations. The first, look at here, if it is cantilever, you can write the first as the total Fy is equal to zero because you can see there is no any other forces as vertical, so you can find the Ay's easily. So total Fy equal to zero. Two multiply two, look at here. I convert it to the point load. I actually wrote it here, but I'm trying to show you again here. Minus Ay 
equal to 0 and ay equal to 4. Now for kilonewton. Now we obtain ay. Okay. So if you obtain ay, so let's write the total moment. Total moment respect to the point A. Total moment respect to point A is equal to 0. This direction is positive. And this is going to be a moment A minus 2 multiplied to 2. This force 2 multiplied 2. The whole length and multiply the half of this because it's going to uh, apply at the midpoint of the B. Okay. And multiply it 1 and minus 6 kilo newton meter as the moment here. Okay. So equal to 0. From this equation, I'm going to obtain that the moment at A equal to 10 kilo newton meter. Okay. 10 kilo newton meter at the point A. So now I have the shears and also the moment at the point A. So let's uh, draw the shear and the moment diagrams. So I have a 4 kilo newton meter upper direction at A. For example, this is point A. And there's no any point, so it's just a, a cantilever. For example, this is four. And I'm going to I'm going to uh, decrease by this amount of area. Now you can sorry by this amount of force because this force is a distributed load. So it's just going to apply the small portions and until it gets to uh, the last point okay the, the point of zero yeah so yeah for example for this one because it's going to be zero there is not any other force so i said zero but normally if it if there is another uh support here maybe it cannot be zero it's just going to the down so uh this one four four two multiplied two is four the amount is going to be four and it's going to decrease as triangular okay as triangular Because I'm going to show you that how it's going to be triangular. I'm going to show you the, the logic of that. Yeah, for example, look at here. I have a four force here. Okay. And the force will apply a small portions. Okay. So what does it mean? If you have a slope, if you have a, something straight. Okay. And if it gets slope, if it gets slope, small portions. For example, it's going to be at this point. For example, this is point A. Okay. And the force acts and it's tied to be at this point. And the force acts and it comes to that point. And force acts, it comes to that point. And force acts, so look at here, and it's going to stay at zero, okay? I guess you understand now what I mean and how it's going to behave as the distributed load uh, when, uh, the, when the load decreases the, the shear to the zero as a triangular, okay? So now this is going to be triangular. Now, I guess you understand from that uh, shape better because the force will act as proportional and then it's going to decrease portion by portion and then it's going to reach to the point zero. Okay, so now I have a moment here. Sorry, one second. Take the pen. I have a moment here as 10. Okay, 10. Sorry. I have a moment here as 10 and I'm going to increase, I'm going to increase at this amount of area, okay, to this amount, at this amount of area. So for, what is the length of this uh, whole beam? Two, okay, and four multiplied two, eight over two, four multiplied two over two, because this is a triangular and this is going to the area of the uh, this section I am taking, okay? So it's going to be, sorry, four, four, sorry. Four multiplied, one second, I'm gonna write it better. I don't want to be misunderstood. So misunderstand, so. Uh, this is going to be eight multiplied uh, two over two, uh, and this will be equal to four, I guess. Okay, four. And now you can see also there is a moment six kilo newton here. Okay, six kilo newton here. And so I'm going to increase at this amount of moment four because the area of this one. 
when I increased, yeah, for example, when I increased, and I'm going to reach a point as six, okay? So now, when you increase it, this amount of area, if there is no any other forces here, or maybe if it is not a fix because it is fixed, so it changes. If it's not fixed, it may uh, be as a zero, but for this one, it cannot be zero. There is another moment here. So if there is another moment, you have to uh, just increase at this amount of area, and then you are going to reach the point which here is shown you, okay? Six kilo Newton meter. I guess now you understand how we are going to uh, draw the shear and the moment diagrams for these questions. Uh, if you like these videos, if you want to see more of the videos, please subscribe and share with your friends. If I did something wrong, please warn me. Something that you want me uh, to do for the videos to be more creative and uh, to be more understood. So uh, please uh, comment. I'm going to uh, care also. So I'm, I'm trying to uh, make this all better for you. Thank you for watching. See you for the next question.